Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far, nine problems I have completed on assignment problems. And this is the last and final video, last problem, 10th problem on assignment. So comparatively, I told you in the last previous videos also. So comparatively, this AP is very, very simple compared to transportation problem or linear programming simplex method or networking. So comparatively in all the chapters of operation research, AP is very simple. So students will not find much difficulty if they practice the problems. Simply watching the video, listening the lecture is not enough. Apart from that, you have to practice those problems because manipulation of numbers are there in this operation research subject. And in this assignment problems, we have different type of problems like restricted assignment, unbalanced problem like that, maximization type problems, all we have done. This is the last 10th problem, which is an unbalanced one. We have to make it balanced and then find the solution of optimum assignment. So before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which are given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot, then I'll explain. Come on, see the tenth problem. A department head has four tasks to be performed and three subordinates. It is an unbalanced because four tasks means four rows are given but the persons the subordinates are only three a b and c the subordinates differ in efficiency the estimate of the time each subordinate would take to perform in each is given below in matrix how should he allocate the task one to each man so as to minimize the total man hours the problem is very simple the only thing is it is an unbalanced because only three columns and four rows. So first of all, we have to balance the problem by making equal number of rows and columns. So here columns are only three. So we open a dummy column with zero elements. Now you can see here, it is an unbalanced problem. We make it balanced by adding one extra column that is dummy column. So already in the problem ABC column are given. We have opened a dummy column rows are one two three four so all these elements are given in the problem and the elements of dummy column are zeros that's it that is the new point now from here onwards the same steps step number one row subtraction what do you mean by row subtraction select the minimum element in each row and subtract that element from all other elements of that row in the previous problems I have explained you, I have written that on the board. What is that step? Here I have written just a short word, row subtraction, meaning subtracting minimum element in each row from the corresponding element of that row. Example, in the first row, minimum is zero. So subtracting zero means same values will get. So 9, 26, 15, 0. Second row. Again, minimum is zero. So same values, 13, 27, 6, and zero. Now third column. Third column, again, minimum is zero. Same values, 35, then 20, then 15, and last one is zero. Now the last row, again, minimum is zero. So same values will appear, 18, then 30, 20, and 0. That's all. The first step we have completed that is row subtraction. Second step is column subtraction. In column subtraction, subtract the minimum element in each column from the corresponding element of that column. So first column minimum is 9. First column minimum is 9. So subtract 9. So 9 minus 9, you will get 0. Next, 13 minus 9 is equal to 4. Next comes 35 minus 9, you will get 26. 
नेक्स्ट कम 18 माइनस 9 यू विल गेट 9 तो फर्स्ट कॉलम कंप्लीटेड द सेकंड कॉलम मिनिमम इज 20 तो सबट्रैक्ट 20 26 minus 20 6 27 minus 20 7 20 minus 20 0 30 minus 20 10 third column in the third column 6 is minimum so 15 minus 6 is equal to 9 next one is 6 minus 6 0 15 minus 6 9 then 20 minus 6 14 last column is 0 only 0 minus 0 will be zeros all zeros that's all now we have to draw the minimum number of lines to cover up all the zeros to cover up all the zeros we need minimum number of lines so in one line maximum how many zeros we can cover up one two three four in one vertical line all four zeros we can be able to cover up so i am drawing a vertical line like this which covers all the four zeros now remaining three zeros are there at three different locations we cannot i mean cancel two zeros vertically if we see one zero one zero one zero horizontal if we see one zero one zero one zero so either we draw vertical line or we draw horizontal line separate lines are required for covering up zeros in one line two or more than two zeros we cannot cover up here only one zero we can cover up in a line so what i will do i will take this as horizontal line this as vertical line and this also is a vertical line right so what we have what have happened all the zeros are covered how many lines are there one two three four four lines what is the order of the matrix four by four four rows four columns so when the lines and order of the matrix are same we reach the optimum solution no more tables are required only optimum uh, i mean allocation optimum assignment table we require since the number of lines are equal to the order of the matrix so optimum solution is reached the optimum assignments is as follows the optimum assignments is as follows now here table number three same values i will copy down first of all 0 4 26 and 9 second column 6 7 0 and 10 third column 9 0 9 14 last column all zeros that's it now while giving the assignment see any column which have only one zero only one zero in any row sorry in any row the first row two zeros second row two zeros third row two zeros fourth row only one zero last fourth row only one zero so assign that zero and cancel all other zeros in that column and row row we don't have any other zero whereas column all other zeros will get cancelled now remaining any other row having a single zero yes third row we have a single zero assign this zero and cancel any other zero in that column and row next second only one zero is left assign this zero cancel no other zero in that row and column last first only one zero is there assign this zero cancel the other zeros or all the zeros are either assigned or cancelled no uh, blank zero is there right so we have reached the optimum solution only one solution will get it is not an uh, multiple optimum solution only a unique solution you will get so first second third and last one fourth first to a 
then 2 to C, 3 to B, and 4 to Dummy. Now we calculate what is the total minimum time. Total minimum time. So, what original problem? You see the original problem. What are the time estimates for 1 to A? 1 to A is 9. First task to A man, 9. Second to C, second to C is 6. Third to B, third to B is 20. And dummy is 0. Dummy is 0. We don't have any time for dummy. So, 29, 30, 35. So 35 hours, 35 hours is the minimum time required to finish off all the four tasks, all the four tasks, right? So this is the end of problem number 10 and the last problem on assignment problems. In this subject of operation research, totally five units I have covered. In the first unit, I have explained you about what is operation research, what is the meaning, definition, purpose features of operation research subject now in this operation research uh, what are the different programming problems particularly linear programming what is linear programming what are the features definition meaning everything i have explained about linear programming then methods of solving linear programming two methods are the graphical method and simplex method in first unit so many videos so many problems have solved on graphical method of solving LPP. Second unit, the whole unit is on simplex method. And the most tough unit in the complete operation research is unit number two. That is simplex method. Four types of problems are there. That is uh, minimization problem, maximization problem, mixed constraint and duality. So more than 15 problems we have solved on this unit number two. Third unit, we have transportation assignment and traveling salesman problem just now we have done the problems and fourth unit we have network analysis drawing the network calculating est lft values finding out the critical path many things we have seen in network analysis last unit unit number five we have done the problems on simulation queuing theory and game theory these are the three topics we have done in unit number Five. This is a complete subject of operation research. So particularly for this subject, you have to work very hard because the problems require practice. It's not as easy as we are, what we have done just now on the board. It requires a lot of practice to get the command on these problems. So inshallah, we'll take up the next topic in the next video.